Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial page. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to define mixed methods research, define when mixed methods are appropriate, and understand the benefits of mixed methods research. Mixed methods research is a research methodology that includes the data collection and analysis of both quantitative and qualitative data. While the qualitative and quantitative data can be collected and analyzed separately, a key component of mixed methods research is the integration of both types of data at some point during the research process. Mixed methods research can be found in many of the same fields as quantitative and qualitative research, such as education, business, the social sciences, communications, legal services, and many others. There are many reasons that researchers choose to use mixed methods. One popular reason is due to the flexibility associated with this approach. The quantitative part of mixed methods research allows for generalizability of research because the population size is typically large. The qualitative part of mixed methods research allows for the researcher to add context and rich detail to the conclusion. So what does a mixed methods research study look like in practice? The quantitative portion might come before the qualitative, or vice versa. The two parts may also be done at the same time. It just depends on the research question. Consider this research question. What administrative communication techniques are most impactful on informing first-generation undergraduate students in the United States about online mental health support since COVID-19? There are many approaches we could take to answer this research question, but we will use mixed methods in this video. We will use both qualitative and quantitative data to answer our research question comprehensively. Keep in mind that there are many different methods to collect this data. The example you are about to see is just one. For the quantitative part of this study, a survey will be distributed among first-generation undergraduate students across the United States. This survey will include closed-ended questions that ask participants about their opinions, preferences, behaviors, or any other related information about online mental health support since COVID-19. The qualitative part of this study will involve interviews with first-generation college students who will answer open-ended questions regarding their opinions, preferences, behaviors, and other relevant things about online mental health support since COVID-19. After we receive an adequate amount of survey responses and finish conducting interviews, we will analyze both forms of data. A statistical analysis will be performed on the surveys, and the interviews will be coded. After both forms of data have been analyzed separately, they need to be integrated. This will allow us to interpret them together. For this study, we will be using triangulation. Triangulation refers to using both forms of data to validate and corroborate findings. For this study, we will use the survey results to confirm our findings from the interviews. This will help us gain a more comprehensive understanding of our research results to best answer our research question. There are many benefits to mixed methods research, but if you don't think mixed methods research sounds like the right choice for you, check out the other videos in this series to learn about other research methods. In this tutorial, you learned when mixed methods research may be used and what its benefits are. Also in this video, you saw an example of a research question being answered through a mixed methods approach with the combined use of surveys and interviews. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.